axis of evil was part of George Bush's State of the Union address um, back in 2002. And it was um, somewhat of a surprise that North Korea was included in that. Uh, in part because, again, that was not long after September 11th, and the expectation was that the Bush administration was following a kind of um, war on terrorism and, and, and that any kind of axis of evil would only focus on countries that supported terrorism. So its inclusion in the axis of evil was a little confusing because it's not really a terrorist country. Why is it being included with Iraq and Iran, which were identified as being these kind of sponsors of terrorism? Well, a couple of reasons here. One, um, one is that uh, the Bush administration didn't want the axis of evil to simply be um, Islamic states. And so it had to include another country in there to demonstrate that, well, this wasn't a crusade. And, and right after 9-11, there was a lot of concern over Bush's rhetoric, that the rhetoric actually evoked the sense of a Christian crusade against, against Islamic countries. So throw in North Korea and we can say, well, you know, we're kind of equal opportunity disparagers, you know? <laughs> um, the second reason is that uh, clearly the Bush administration had a kind of regime change philosophy that after a period of for want of a better word, appeasement, because this is the word that was often used by the neoconservatives, a period of appeasing countries like North Korea, it was time the Bush administration decided to draw the line. We would simply not accept countries with regimes that we considered evil. Okay, now evil is an interesting word choice here because it suggests not foreign policy, but theology. And theology uh, you could argue, really informed the foreign policy decisions of the Bush administration. That it, diplomacy was, of, of course, the watchword of foreign policy for decades and decades. But in a theological worldview, diplomacy is unacceptable with countries that are evil. Because, you, as Dick Cheney said, you do not negotiate with evil, you defeat evil. And if North Korea, if the North Korean regime is um, determined to be evil by the Bush administration, then it makes sense to say, okay, our strategy here is regime change. And that's why it can be grouped together with Iraq and Iran. And it actually has less to do with, with nuclear issues than it has to do with the nature of the regime, whether it was pursuing nuclear weapons or not. Um, but of course, when a country pursues nuclear weapons, then it suddenly, you know, rises up in the hierarchy, you know. I mean, if North Korea wasn't pursuing nuclear weapons, it would be largely ignored by the Bush administration. So the nuclear question is not irrelevant, but the determination of what is an evil or a not evil country, who belongs or does not belong in the, in the axis of evil, relates more to the nature of the regime as identified by the administration.